How long do you spend on social networking sites? One, two, maybe even three hours a day? A recent study by the Safer Internet Centre shows 96% of 11 to 19 year olds communicate online through social networking sites, Twitter being among the most popular. <laughs> I'm genuinely addicted to it. When, when you like refresh a tweet and there's nothing there, literally 10 seconds later I will be refreshing yeah. that tweet yeah. again. Do we feel safe on these social networking sites? Hidden in the depths of the terms and conditions, we found out that Twitter is actually meant for 13 years and above, something none of us knew. Tweeting also gives the ability to become anonymous. This is like hiding behind a mask. You can tweet without the worry of how you're being perceived. However, this anonymity makes people feel that they can get away with inappropriate behaviour. There's, stu there's stuff that you would say on Twitter that you would never say to somebody's mm -hmm. face. Yeah. So you could tweet something now about somebody and this could be made, you know, people could believe it, retweet it, you don't know how far it's going to go. Um, so it's quite scary. Without proper knowledge of how to use Twitter, your location can be easily revealed. If we're getting a Twitter account, we have to make sure that we know what, what it does and what it means and how to use it. At our school, sixth form students have helped educate younger students about internet safety. How do you empower students to have the confidence to come forward if they've been involved with inappropriate activity online? We just try and basically hammer into them the different paths and things they can use. If anything does go wrong, who they can speak to, what they're supposed to do. One of the dangers of Twitter is how easily one silly little comment can spiral out of control and spread like wildfire. It shows that how quickly rumours can spread and they may not be true and there is no proof but people just take it and run with it. When I saw the tweets about Lord McAlpine, I didn't question it because there were so many of them. I just assumed it was right. PC Carl Williams works as a school liaison officer as part of the Safer School Partnership for Cheshire Police. What can young people do if they've been involved in inappropriate activities on social networking sites? Well, first, I think it's important that they have confidence, not just in the parents or the teachers, but also in the, the police as well, that we will deal with it sensitively. There are sites they can visit, such as the Think You Know site, which is part of SEOP, and also Childnet. To tweet or not to tweet? That is the question. I've been Harry. And I'm Annie, reporting from Tarpley High School. For BBC News School Report.